what's up guys table one gaming here again and today's video is going to be about why salamangri had the most tops at ycs dusseldorf and is currently Yu-Gi-Oh's best deck the deck took 28 spots in the top 64 at this event which is almost 50 percent of the entire standings many players thought the deck would be tier 1.5 at best and some players went as far as saying that the deck is complete garbage if you're one of those people here's some reasons as to why you were wrong so without further ado let's get right to it Reason number one, the deck doesn't lose to floodgates. Popular floodgates such as Golden Match and Rivalry of the Warlords do nothing to this deck because they're all the same type and attribute. Skill Drain won't do anything to them either because Foxy has a graveyard effect that can just pop it. The effect activates and resolves in the graveyard, therefore being unable to be negated by Skill Drain. Secret Village and Anti-Spell Fragrance can hurt a little bit, but not to the point of completely stopping the deck. Not to mention that these cards are also stopped by Foxy. Realistically, the only floodgate against this deck that is really good is there can only be one, but hardly anybody main decks that. Reason number 2. The deck can recycle its resources. Cards such as Sunlight Wolf, Falco, and Jack Jaguar all allow you to reuse your monsters the following turn. Will of the Salamangrate is either a monster reborn or a soul charge for your Salamangrate monsters. Salamangrate Roar can set itself face down if you link summon a monster with a material that has the same name. Falco can also set Rage or Roar as well. The deck might not be able to set up giant boards, but it can make up for it with its ability to win the grind game. Reason number 3. The deck is very consistent. There's so many ways to get your play started in this deck. Lady Debug is a straddles for the deck, netting you a plus 1 or a plus 2 when you link summon into Balex. Salamangre Foxy can also net you a plus 1 or 2 by excavating a Salamangre card and also linking into Balex. Gazelle is a plus 3 on its own. Flame Buffalo gives you access to draw power. Even drawing Jack Jaguar or Falco can get you a plus 1 by linking it off to search for the field spell. The only real brick in this deck is hard drawing the field spell or drawing no Salamangre cards at all. Reason number 4. The deck can do over 8000 damage in one turn. Because of Salad Boy's ability to spam the deck, they can easily knock down the opponent's life points down to zero. They have a fusion monster that increases its attack equal to half of each fusion material used to make it, and when it battles, it can turn the monster's attack it battles into zero attack. Stalio also bounces monsters when used for a Link Summon, and if you Link Summon into Heat Leo, you can also bounce back a Spower Trap on your opponent's side of the field making it very safe for you to push for the OTK. So that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Was there anything that I missed out on this list? Do you agree or disagree with my reasons? Let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Table1Gaming signing out.